Nope. I don't have anything in my hand. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's a little one. Whoa. Hey. Hey, Chipmunk. Oh, hey. Dude, you go. All right, some interesting things today. How about this one? Apparently, Japanese hornets are coming here in Vancouver. It says, get that thing away from me. Couple discovers Japanese giant hornet buzzing in North Vancouver. It says, Metro Vancouver appears to be turning into a destination for exotic and potentially deadly insects. Just over a week after the discovery of a southern scorpion in one of the women's apartment, a North Vancouver couple now has what appears to be a Japanese giant hornet living in their home. And you can see a picture of it. Whenever I think of hornets, Japanese hornets and stuff, I'm thinking of that documentary, the one that shows bees versus a hornet. You can see this hornet completely destroy this bee colony, like in Europe or something like that, like European bees, they said. But then when it came to apparently Japanese honeybees, they have a defense against the thing. They all work together, like the bees, and they actually roast that hornet alive. Like, that's crazy. The difference, I guess, in technique in terms of what to do, as opposed to going one by one, getting eaten up, these things actually work together and they develop that. And it's kind of funny here, as they're interviewing the expert in the hornet, the reporter's like, so what can you do Like with this, if you see this giant hornet? The guy basically just implies, you know, you can just step on it. So I was like, okay, very basic. And this last one I read, speaking about, I guess, working more efficiently and stuff, it says, safer skies. This algorithm could dramatically reduce drone catastrophes. More propellers, parachutes, the answer to safer drones for commercial uses could be in the code. It says here, Veridity Studios, which is behind some of the highest stake drone flights in the world, has introduced a software algorithm it says can prevent quadcopters from crashing during unexpected propulsion system failures. That's kind of interesting, not relying on things like parachutes and all that. So according to this, they actually, I guess, reprogram the drones to operate in a way where if it finds something is wrong, I guess it'll change the way it's flying and all that. It says, data on propulsion system failure is difficult to come by. When a propulsion issue happens to quadcopters using failsafe, sophisticated algorithm kick in and the drone stabilizes itself using its remaining good propellers. That's kind of interesting because even for here, as you guys know, when the laws change in Canada, I guess a lot of those drones, they have a backup system where if it loses their propeller, it can still fly on just three of them. So it'd be interesting to see this on other things, I guess, universally. You want to go over there with a piggy? Wow! <laughs> He's walking! <laughs> uh, crows have also been getting pretty territorial. Oh, because the crows! Oh, they're what? chasing an eagle! Holy crow, it is! They're attacking an eagle! Wow! The eagle probably went after its nest. I don't know how that's going to look with this, but yeah, that was actually kind of cool. Cook up food, yep. come out here, eat the food on the fish. What the fish?
All right, see you guys later.